now, aside from being really good at doing math, uh, Excel has become very good uh, at working with data. Um, the ability to sort data, the ability to filter through data. So here we have a bunch of raw data with some with some math. We did we were able to figure out some uh, net profit here. So I've selected the area, and probably the first thing you should do is format this as a table. And uh, we covered this in a prior lesson. So I'm just going to pick one of these lovely styles, and it's asking if that's the range that I want, and I selected it. So yes, I know that it is. And here we go. So we've got a nice looking table. Uh, but more importantly, we have the ability, we have these little arrows here now, which allow us to do several things. The first of which is to sort. So if I want to sort this by, let's say, state, um, so that they're in alphabetical order, I can do that. So I can come here and say, sort this by state. So uh, all of the records, all of the rows are intact. They didn't get jumbled, right? So when it sorts, it takes everything from that row and it simply moves it up. So now I got all these California, Oregon, and Washington. So now I'm looking at this and thinking, well, I could have done better. I could have also sorted, I have a lot of ties here, right? So I could have then sorted by city. That would have made a lot of sense. So I'm gonna go back to that same button and rather than uh, sort A to Z here and not really sort by column, I wanna to go to custom sort. I want more sorting options and now yeah, I want to sort by state, but I want to add a level, right? So this is like a tiebreaker level. So then I'm going to sort by city. And the same thing, A to Z. Let's see what that looks like. So now I've got that. And then I've got cities that are duplicated as well, all right? And I'd be able to keep sorting. I'd be able to sort by the highest amount of sales if I wanted to. Um, you can just keep going, right? So, uh, and then by quarter, so I can go ahead and do that if I wanted to. Go back to the sort and the custom sort, and then I can add one more level, and then say that I want to sort by quarter, smallest to largest. So there you go. So it's sorted first by state. Tiebreakers are the cities. And then the tiebreakers, once again, are the quarters. So those are your sorting options. And I'm going to remove, uh, I'm going to remove the sort here. Actually, I'm not going to bother removing the sort because I'm going to change a whole bunch of things now. But we're going to do something absolutely totally different because um, it's not, Removing the sort really isn't going to do anything for me. It's not going to, it's, there's no random button. So removing the sort actually didn't make any sense. Um, one thing I want you to know is we have in this table, it was kind of messed up, but you'll see we, we have some duplicates here, right? And we want to get rid of those. So I'm once again going to select that area. I'm going to select my data. And I'm going to simply use this remove duplicates tool. And I'm going to say remove duplicates I'm going to leave all of these selected. I'm going to hit OK. And it's telling me that it found six duplicate values. And that's exactly what I had. I had six duplicates in there. And I'm going to hit OK. All right. So that doesn't happen very often. But the, uh, the test is probably going to ask you to know how to do that. So you simply select the data, hit remove duplicates, and you're done. The next thing I need to talk about are filters. Now, you're able to filter out data that you don't want to see. So let's say that I only wanted to see people from California and I don't want to see the other stores at all. So now we're not, we're not sorting, we're filtering. So we're going to come into the filtering here and into text filters. So I would first of all start by unchecking this, okay? Remove, select all. And then in filters, you have just an amazing amount of things that you can filter by. So right now, because I've selected state, I'm going to be filtering by something in state. So if I only want the people in California, I would go to equals. And here I would say CA. That's it. I only want CA. So now it's filtered out everything else. I can go back to filter. And then, of course, I could remove that and then select all again. And then everything will come back. Okay. Okay. Um, more examples, I can also ask to see California and Washington, let's say. So I can say equals, 
California, and, okay, I can do and, or, right? So, and Washington, and okay. So now, it's only showing me those that have both California and Washington. That's not what I wanted. So I'm gonna come back here, come back here, and I'm gonna go to equals, and I'm gonna say, I want California or Washington. And now, that's what I wanted. All right, so that's the difference between and and or. Be careful with that. Once again, to remove a filter, you could, you could select all or you could clear filter. They both do the same. I realize this is a lot of information, but it's really quite straightforward and uh, user-friendly, easy to use. Uh, I don't need to sort by state. I could sort by, um, by city, so now, or filter, sorry. So I can come here and I can unselect that and I can go back here and I can say uh, begins with, let's say, and I can say uh, Larkspur and that will give me both because there's one and two. So here I hit OK and I'm getting both Larkspur stores. I'm just trying to give you as many examples as possible so that you, you understand uh, just how strong this filtering is. I can, I can also go by sales if I wanted to. And so let's make this interesting. We're, we're going to go by state first. And um, let's say that we only want Washington. Oh, I'm going to remove this filter first. There we go. All right, so I have to remove that filter. And now, okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go um, equals Washington. And okay. And then with only Washington, I'm now gonna go to, let's say sales. And I'm gonna ask for greater than, and here they give you some amounts. So let's say anything greater than, uh, what do we got, two, greater than 220,000. So I could have chosen one from the list, but I chose my own. So now it's filtered out not only everybody that's not in Washington, but it's also filtered out sales that are under 220,000. So many options to choose from, so many things that you can do. It's, uh, it's, it can be overwhelming. And when you're ready to remove the filters, it's showing you where you have the filters here. So you can, you can just come here and you can clear that filter, and then you can clear that filter, and you're right back to your entire table of data. So the ability to sort, the ability to sort by multiple columns, the, abil the ability to filter by one column or by several so that you see exactly the data that you want to see, uh, it goes quite a bit deeper, but for this level, for now, th these are the things that they wanted you to know uh, in order to prepare for the test.